Hi guys and welcome to The Bachelor Day where I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, put in your fridge and freezer and use whenever you want. This week is my first um, weekly um, meal plan, okay? And we're going to do it much like the 10 meals in an hour. So if you're used to using my 10 meals in an hour, then you'll know roughly how this works. We are making six, actually we're making seven meals, okay? How it's going to work is we're going to make three um, three main meals, Hasselback chicken, burritos and spaghetti bolognese and we're going to double them so you end up with six. Three of them are going in my fridge and that's what we'll be eating this week and three I'll be able to pull out in about a month's time and have three meals already prepared for that week, okay? And then I'm also making made in advance baked potatoes just because my oven's going to be on anyway so while I'm cooking these three I'm just going to get some baked potatoes in the oven and then make the, um, make the tuna mayonnaise as well so that's an easy Monday night tea for us. Okay, let's get started. Now, um, firstly, the rice. We're making the rice for the burritos. I would usually use packet microwavable rice, but it didn't, arrive, it didn't come in my shopping, so I've just got some normal rice. Microwavable rice will only take two minutes. This one will take about um, 12 minutes in my microwave. But you need two cups of rice, um, and you need to add your water to it. And I'm just gonna get this started in the microwave, because I need this rice for when I make the burritos and I need it to be cooled down, okay? So it's a perfect way to get it cooked straight away. So in that goes into the fridge. Baked potatoes take ages in the, uh, in the oven, so I like to start them in the microwave. Now the rice is in the microwave just now, so as soon as it comes out, I can get my baked potatoes in. They're gonna go in for 15 minutes in the microwave and then um, they're going to heat up in the oven, okay? So I'm just going to put a cross in them and then put some cling film over the top and just put them in the microwave for 15. Next, I think we're going to get our spaghetti bolognese going, okay? So you're going to need your big pot and you're going to get it on the stove and I'm just grabbing now the ingredients for the spaghetti bolognese. Right, so we've got our olive oil in. Next we want our six cups, uh, sorry, four cups of chopped onions. Go by the recipe. When I'm doing this, I'm doing it without editing it. So um, you need to make sure that you're going by the recipe. Okay. While that's doing that, we can also add in our chopped garlic. So um, we're also get, going to get going with our beef. So I'm using 5% steak mints. Um, so the 41 pounds that I spent was quite good because I was using, I bought the lower fat mints, which is always more expensive, but it was on a sort of like two for one offer or something like that. So. Um, Okay, I'm just going to add the mince to the pan. Now you'll see me going in and out of shop because if I'm running this in a section like this, I need to go and wash my hands and come back to you. But don't worry, I'll fast forward through some of the sections as we get going. Okay, now we're going to recycle as we go along. So I've got a washing up, um, my sink is full of hot soapy water. So I can just dip these in and my recycle bin is sitting there open. So I'm not even having to have a pile of stuff at the end. It's all done. Let's just go and quickly do that and I'll come back to you in one minute. Right, and I'm back. Okay, one thing that's good to know is always keep some, I tend to keep some antibacterial dental when I'm doing this and just wipe down as you go. Keep some hot water in your sink, wash your hands as you go. Um, just because you're changing between maybe a vegetarian or a, or a meat or a chicken or a fish, so it's always good to wipe down as you go, okay? Right, next for this, we're just going to chop the mushrooms. Okay, now you can use frozen mushrooms if, as you want. In here is now my mince is browning, my onions and my garlic are browning. Um, the mince is almost browned. I can just add the mushrooms into that as well. And next, we can um, just go ahead and get the baked potatoes and put them in the microwave now. So I'll just go and quickly do that and get the rice out to cool because we want the rice as cool as possible. So I'm just going to decant it into a bowl um, and allow it to cool um, so that we can use it for the burritos. Because remember, we're doing um, burritos, spaghetti bolognese, and the baked potatoes, and at the end, we're doing Hasselback chicken. Okay, so let me just do that. Okay, guys, everything is working away quite nicely. Baked potatoes in the microwave, the rice is cooling, the spaghetti bolognese is just finishing browning, and we're gonna move on and just do the peppers, get the peppers ready for, um, for the fajitas. Uh, not fajitas, what are we doing? We're doing burritos. 
our mince is now cooked. Um, you could drain this if you want. This is 5% so it doesn't have much to drain off it so I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to start another pan and get my, um, get my peppers on the go, okay? So this can now go to the side, which is my cooler one. And I'll just add some more oil in here. And I'm going to get my onions and my peppers going for my burritos. And that is my spaghetti bolognese done, okay? So that can just sit up there. Now my um, onions are already sweated. And so I can start to add in the pepper. Everything is now wiped down and clean and I'm just going to add my olive oil to my pan for my baked potatoes. They're finished in the microwave so we can just get them out now. Everything is still cooking, everything's boiling away and now I've just basically brought everything else around so there is nothing left on my counter. We're just doing the last bits and bobs. Well, we still have quite a bit to do, but we'll go through that. Okay, so we're on 19 minutes. I have not stopped that timer once, okay? Now, we're just going to make the tuna um, meal, which you all know how to make tuna meal, but we're still, we're going to make it in advance and get it in our, um, in the fridge so that I know that when I come flying in from work tomorrow night, that I'm just throwing the baked potatoes back in the oven to crisp up and they're having this with a salad on the side and I'm not having to get myself and my work gear covered in fishy tuna or anything like that. To cling film this up and this is for Monday night. So as soon as those baked potatoes are out of the oven, I'll leave them to cool and I'll put them in a container next to this, okay? So I'll put this in the fridge. Okay, while that is cooling, we are going to go ahead and just make our chicken, okay? Because our, our um, burritos are going to have to have everything cold before they go in them. So just to cool them off now, we'll just put them in another bowl. Now this is the bowl that just the, um, the carrots came out of and I just squished it in the hot water. So I'm not ending up with lots of other bowls to wash, okay? So don't worry about that. But that will cool off now just on the side there and I'll put this in the wash. So, we've got a nice clean bit to work on. Okay, I'm just going to roll up my sleeves and we're going to get going with the chicken. Now, we're going to make Hasselback chicken and we're going to make two of them. So it's mozzarella, basil and tomatoes. So I've got my fresh basil here. I've got my mozzarella. This came in at 40 pence for each mozzarella and my tomatoes, okay? So what I want to do first is just start chopping the, slicing the tomatoes. And we'll just do our mozzarella at the same time. Right guys, so I've got everything ready that I need before I started doing the chicken, okay? And I'm gonna need four chicken breasts. So one, two, three, four for this one and then four for the next one, okay? For the meals. What I'm going to do is slice through it in this Hasselback style. I'm sure if you have watched me before, you know exactly how to do this. So you're just slicing it through like this, okay? The reason I've got all this ready is then I can just touch it with my fingers that are still been touching the chicken, if that makes sense. Because I know that everything on that board I'm going to use, okay? I wouldn't want to have other stuff out and then find I wanted to put some stuff in the fridge, but I'd already got going. Now I'm going to show you how to do one, then we're going to fast forward through. Okay, so we've got our chicken breast here. We're just going to put, as it cooks, all that mozzarella will melt and be delicious. So all we want to do is end up with our Hasselback chicken like this, and we're going to put four in each of these parcels. Okay, I'm just going to do four together because I know I'll be cooking them. If you're making for separates, then you might want to just individually wrap them. Okay guys, my mozzarella chicken is finished, if you can see that. I'm just going to fold this up now into a parcel. We're going to do the same with the other one. And then you just want to put it, you know, if you want to, you can put this in a glass container. You can put it in any container you want really, but you want it to be sealed of air as much as possible, okay? And then I tend to just put them 
in Ziploc bags because it's sealed these can get washed very easily as well so if you don't want to use plastic you can use a different method you just have to make sure that all the air is out okay otherwise they're going to get freezer burn so that is my Hasselback chicken okay guys for the burritos you're going to want some grated cheese some refried beans some peppers and your onions that have been cooked down you're going to want your rice which I have decanted and is cooled some, and some salsa, okay? And all you want to do is get your um, get your wrap and we can just start doing one at a time actually or actually let's do two at a time, okay? If, so we're just going to add some refried beans straight from the can. Now you want to make sure that you don't put too much in these burritos you'll be desperate to, you'll think it doesn't look a lot and then you'll try to wrap them, okay? Now I have a video on how to wrap burritos, I'm going to quickly show you here, but if you want to see the full video, there is a burrito recipe. You're going to add the refried beans and you're going to add some rice, okay? Really simple. Some rice, some refried beans, you're then going to take a spoonful of your peppers and your onions, which also have that Mexican flavour through them, remember? So they'll be delicious. And if you wanted to, this could be your chicken. So if you didn't want to do it meat-free. And then you're going to add a little bit of salsa. And a little bit of salsa. And then I'm going to open this packet of cheese, excuse me. And a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of cheese. Right, how to roll them. Both ends up, okay? Make sure it's quite even in the middle. Both ends up, fill it into a pocket, flip it over, and you get a burrito, okay? I'll show you again. Both ends up, fold it over, turn it over, and you've got a burrito. Now, I can just half this foil, you'll notice that I'm making them in the foil because I'm going to wrap them in the foil. These get wrapped and put in the freezer like this and it'll come up on the screen showing how you're going to cook them after. These are full meals. I would give everybody, I don't know, one or two probably with a salad on the side. Okay, really easy and they're going in like that. Now this is still pretty hot, so I'm only going to bag up one just to let you see what it looks like. Okay, that's for a four portion. It's too hot to put in the bags, so I'm going to leave it like that. It has taken me 55 minutes. I've got my spaghetti bolognese. It's probably going to take me another five minutes to bag up once it cools down. I've got my burritos, my spaghetti bolognese, my Hasselback chicken, my tuna and my sizzling baked potatoes that just need to cool down. Half is going in the fridge, half is going in the freezer. Six meals, three for this week, three for another week, and tuna and baked potatoes for tomorrow night. And I'm just going to whiz you around my kitchen and you can just see how messy it is. And this is an honest approach. You can see the timer is still going. Okay, are you ready? Whoop, bit jiggly. There we go, we've used all our ingredients. Come around, we've just got to tidy up what's on the counter. The washing up is done, the dishwasher is ready to go on, and the recycling is done. Let's put it back. Okay guys, pretty much an hour. That's how easy it is. See if you can give it a go. Let me know your feedback. Is this too complicated? Do you love it? Do you want to see a different weekly one? Let me know and I can produce more and more of these if you're interested. Thanks for watching The Batch Lady. Um, please make sure that you give a thumbs up. Tell all your friends about it. Bye.